Welcome in. I'm Anthony at the Collins with NFL insider Field Yates. Field, the Eagles are making offseason moves, and one of them is signing of Alejandro Villanueva, a defensive lineman who spent the last four years as an active member of the U.S. Army and most recently served as an Army Ranger. Field, you scouted him back in 2009. On the field, what does he bring to the table? Well, it's an interesting story because what he brings is some rare physical qualities, especially his length. This is a player who looks more like a basketball power forward than a football defensive end. Six foot nine, arms for days, length on both sides of his body. This is a player that could be very unique if used properly. Now, the question is whether or not he can translate to the NFL. Certainly, it's a long shot for him to be an active part of the Philadelphia, Philadelphia Eagles 53-man roster this year. But a unique case because coaches always look for traits. And from a traits perspective, there aren't too many players like this. So how do you think Villanova fits into the Eagles scheme? Well, I think he's going to be sort of a trial and error player playing along the defensive line. Perhaps they find that he has enough quickness to combine with that length to bend the edge and become a pass rusher. But even if it's a player that, remember now, we have 90 spots on the roster during the offseason. So this is the time that you bring aboard players that, you're worth, that are worth taking a shot on. Even if you don't have a major financial investment in them, or perhaps if you don't project them to be 53-man roster players, you bring Bring him in, give him a shot, see if your coaches can utilize a player's strengths as opposed to worrying about his limitations. That's the big test for the Eagles. And now Villanueva has earned a number of honors for his service, including the Bronze Star. Phil, what do you think it means for a team to have a player like Villanueva in the locker room? Well, I, th I think players certainly get some perspective in, in seeing one of their teammates who has been through certainly some unique circumstances and has faced some different kind of adversity. I think it's someone that all the players, despite the fact that he doesn't have a long NFL career to his name, they'll certainly respect what he's done off the field and they'll certainly give him the respect that he deserves for all of his accomplishments. There you have it, Field Yates with the insight. And for more of Field, make sure to catch him on Insiders at 3.30 p.m. on ESPN. I'm Anthony at the Collins with your ESPN Headline.